One of the women who investigators say was working in the Bridge Day Spa in Hope Sound accepted a plea deal today that wiped out three of the four charges against her and downgraded the remaining racketeering charge to a lesser felony. And only we have video of her leaving jail. Flanked by her bail bondsman, Lee Ping Wang Borgia left the Martin County Jail with a jacket covering her head after pleading no contest or guilty to just one lesser charge. Martin County prosecutors dropping three charges of money laundering, engaging in prostitution and use of a structure for prostitution. They downgraded a racketeering charge to deriving support from the proceeds of prostitution. It carries a sentence from no time in jail, up to 15 years and up to a 50, up to a $10,000 fine. Meantime, prosecutors in Palm Beach County file formal charges against the owner operators of the Orchids of Asia Day spot in Jupiter. Li Wang and Hua Zhang, now formally charged with deriving support from the proceeds of prostitution, maintaining a house for prostitution, renting space for prostitution, and 25 counts of soliciting a person for prostitution. One of those 25 who was charged with soliciting sex acts, New England's Patriots owner Robert Kraft. Kraft, who has turned down a plea deal today, pleading not guilty and now saying he wants a trial by jury. At the same time, his lawyers are trying to make sure surveillance video that police say shows him receiving sex acts is not released. Kraft did release an apologetic statement over the weekend. And NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell asked tonight if the NFL's personal policy conduct code requires them to suspend Kraft. Goodell saying the code applies to everyone, but... It will be done after we get all the facts. And with that not guilty plea and the request for trial, Kraft's scheduled arraignment here on Thursday has been canceled.